Hello and welcome to Ask a Member. I'm Ann Hughes, President of the Adrian Area Chamber of Commerce, and it's my pleasure today to welcome Naomi Lally, and I'm in Biz Online. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I love the name of your company. How did you come up with it? <laughs> um, it was a family conversation, and uh, I've had a resume business for a number of years in the community just as a sole proprietor. When I decided to incorporate the business, um, we had to talk about, well, what should we call it? And I think David, my husband, is the one who came up with I'm in biz. And I was like, yeah, I know I'm in biz, but what do I call it? He says, I'm in biz. And he spelled it out for me, and it sounded kind of cute. So that's how I incorporated my business. And when I branched off into the marketing side for businesses, I called it I'm in biz online. Okay. And, and we'll, we'll talk about that, that marketing piece, too. But I think one of, I mean, your family fascinates me, as well as your business and, and all the different things that you know and, and do. Many of them you've done for us here at the chamber. but. You know, you're, you said it earlier, you're a family of entrepreneurs, right yep. down to uh, Jonathan. Yes. So tell, tell us a little bit how, how that all came about. Um, David is a registered rep with Lincoln Financial Securities, and his business for the insurance side is Lolly Wealth Management, and he's going to be opening an office in it's the city. neighbor. Yeah. Um, I have my own business, actually two of them, the, the resume business and then the marketing business. Uh, Drake, my teenage son, is developing his own business. He's a media uh, specialist, so he does uh, photography and video and graphic design work, and he's starting to get into some of the computer side of it. And Jonathan is seven, and he wants his own lawn care business because he's practicing taking care of our lawn and buying his own tools. So. And your boys are both homeschooled? Yes. Yes, we keep quite busy. <laughs> And Drake just has to get through accounting and he's going to graduate? Yes. <laughs> I keep pushing him every time I see him. He trying remembers to, that. Try, <laughs> trying to get him through that. He also does sound for us now, too. Yes. At uh, Adrian and the AM. Right. So Drake and David um, volunteer in the community playing music. They go to the senior center in a number of the senior um, locations, the nursing homes and things. Drake is really talented with guitar and banjo. And so they take the sound system and play and sing, usually gospel or bluegrass music. Okay, and I have yet to hear them, but I have heard so much about them, particularly from people down in Blissfield. And I've, I've, oh. I've got to hear that. Maybe we will have them entertain one morning at Adrian and the A. Well, he thought about bringing it one time. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. We could have some entertainment. <laughs> So, but back to your business, I'm, I'm constantly amazed, you know, you talk about things. I'm just happy if we've got a really good website, which we do, and you created it, and we've gotten hardly a day goes by that we don't get compliments on the website for, for its functionality and its ease of access for people um, wandering through it. Uh, it's really easy to get to. Um, so uh, we, we talk to lots of people about you on a regular basis and, and your skill, but you talk so much about marketing, and of course, you're, you're looking at search engine optimization. That, that's my big term for the day. <laughs> um, but so that, that the search engines, you're the one that the search engines find, and they put you up in the, in the, the top uh, of the list when, when you do a, a Google search or other kind of search. Right. Um, so how do, you, how do you make that happen? Well, um, marketing online is more than just putting up a pretty website. You need to make sure you're using the terms that people are searching for um, and that they're going to take action on when they arrive at your website. So it's having that content on your website plus developing traffic patterns off your website to pull traffic there. So um, a lot of what I do is keeping up with the changes that the search engines do. Um, it's an algorithm, it's a mathematical computation that they decide based on who is searching what are we going to change to make sure they're getting what they're searching for? So before it might have been you had a beautiful brochure website and that was enough. Well then the change happened that people were looking for more than a sentence or two on your website. So you know, I had to make adjustments for that and um, we keep up with, um, actually globally, I belong to a network of, of uh, other marketers globally and we keep up with when Google makes a change and the search engines, the other search engines follow. How is that affecting what our current marketing plans are for our businesses and what changes do we have to adjust with? Um, so making sure that you're using the keywords. Um, for instance, if somebody goes to a search engine and types um, the word plumber, they are looking for somebody to help them with a problem. An emergency plumber or all night plumber or something. If they type the word plumbing, 
um, usually that person is looking for plumbing tips. They're a do-it-yourself person, so they're not ready to hire a plumber. So knowing the difference of the intent of how the person is searching, we develop the content to get results on the website. And then we develop the content where those people are wanting to find traffic patterns to get to your website. For instance, um, the service industries like plumbing, um, uh, auto repair, things like that, do real well with YouTube video marketing mm -hmm. because people watch, well, he knows what he's doing, I'm going to go to his website and hire him. Um, attorneys, um, accountants, they do well with articles and press release marketing because that's more, more of a, a, a reading type of mm -hmm. consumer. So we, we adjust the marketing based on the industry of how we know the consumer is looking for them. Um, and also, it used to be just the website and looking at how people are using the internet. The search engines always change um, how you can be ranked, um, how well you show up based on how, what people want to see. So it's not just the one leg of the stool was your website, but now you've got to have like a three or four legged stool. You have to balance the website with the external marketing, with directories, with the social. There's, there's many different aspects that the search engines put together to measure whether or not your website is shown. And we've talked about that, not in terms of search engine optimization, but when you're trying to market, whether it's a project or a product or a company, um, of balancing that, you know, doing what is best for your business, but balancing it so that, you know, there's a bit of everything, right. but trying to figure out how to do it all. Right. And that's where you come in. Yeah, well, you don't want all your eggs in one basket. So you find the right balance for your niche of consumers. Um, you want a call to action to make sure that they're actually going to take action when they come to your website so you can convert them into a customer. Um, and I guess being able to provide whatever service is needed, um, I think that's where our company um, is helping businesses the most around here. If there's something new, to market with on the internet, we will either learn how to do it and offer that or find the resource and offer that. So we like to, to represent as a full internet marketing company. So if you need something done, it's going to happen. Okay. Well, you've certainly proven that with, with us. There, there isn't anything that we've asked you to do or asked you to make happen that, that hasn't happened. It's been a fun project. For it's, it's, we've we've had a good, we've had a good time, and I think we're it's going to be a long, uh, a long beneficial, mutually beneficial relationship, hopefully. And I think the ladies enjoy actually getting in and adding things to the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we everybody has their own little niche in our office, and I work on the home page, and, and Carol does the new members, and and uh, Sandy works on events. And, but one neat thing that you've added. Um, that I don't know if everyone knows about yet is that we have now have a community calendar as part of our website. It's not just for our members, it's not just for Adrian, but it's really the official Lunaway County community calendar and people can go on and put up their own organization's events anytime. And right. We approve it at the end of the day and, and they're up there trying to, to help the community know everything that's going on and, and try to avoid some of the double booking. Right. So that, right. that's been a real uh, a real plus, I think, for the community. Yeah, that was something you, you wanted that was critical for the new website. And we were able to implement a double calendar. So you have a calendar for the chamber events. Mm -hmm. But anybody in the community, community can load up an event. Um, and then it sits in queue waiting for one of you to approve it or make adjustments. Or within that community event, we'll be contact information or a link back to whatever the community website right. is and things. It's a good resource. What's the favorite part of your job? Learning new things. <laughs> we're, we're a family who likes to learn. <laughs> well, I, I, can, I can tell that definitely from, uh, from talking with all of you, including right down to Jonathan, <laughs> who, who considers himself a chamber member and, and yes. going to, <laughs> told me he's going to get involved. <laughs> you had one tip to leave with people. What would it be? Um, actually, a couple, but I'll make them brief. Um, first, don't be afraid of change. Um, change as far as growing your business. Um, be prepared to grow your business, even if you don't see it happening, be prepared in advance. Um, be ready for change with whatever marketing or, or advancements or technology comes up. And a good way to learn about that is to go to the Regenerate Conference. And I guess the third thing is don't forget to work on your business and in your business. Find the balance. 
So you're servicing your, your clients all the time, but make sure you're also improving your business, your marketing, and, and your, your systems and things at the same time. Always keep growing. Yes. Okay. Naomi, thank you very much. How do, how do people get a hold of you? Um, 263-7544 is my home office. Um, Naomi at I'm in Biz Online is my email, and the website is I'm in Biz Online.com. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.